Any more oscillator, nuclear magnetic resonance model 1020, 3DIC, power 25 volts, RF, BIOS, signal. From this side, variable air capacitor. Which is tuning this PL259 connector. This connector, RF, is not connected anywhere. It's supposed to be connected to the frequency counter. Bias is not being used. This connector, which has signal on it, is the connector from the internal oscillator that is in here that's supposed to work on 60 hertz. It's 62 and change. The throwing generic delivers the signal to the oscilloscope at the same time is delivering the signal to the PL259. We have a shape of 56 hertz right now and that's the analog shape. Now in here it looks like this here. I'm trying to Tune that generator, Electronics AWG2041, 63 hertz, 474, and we're delivering the sine wave. And tuning is just fraction of the hertz, about 76, 0.76 of the hertz to 0.74 of the hertz, 4,000 of the hertz. On the spectrum analyzer, I'm getting this response for that slow movement. Okay, got a peak. That's supposed to be nuclear magnetic resonance. Okay, we've got it. We have these two frequencies, and the upper one goes from the internal oscillator of that device, and the lower one goes from my generator. Now you see at the frequency, and I'm gonna be moving that fraction of the frequency. That means the lower one will change the frequency. Did you see that? Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Maybe that would be better. Okay. Did you see that impulse? Okay. Okay, that's the impulse. That's the impulse. Okay, now we've got the impulse. Now look what we have in here. Then I'm going to create it one more time. You got it. Why am I doing that? Just putting my hand on the handle in here, on the generator, and changing the frequency just a little bit left and right. The concept is that this is supposed to be connected to the probe. Well, the probe is the coil. It's 15 winds that is in between two magnetic fields, two different coils. The RF is delivered to the frequency counter to check the frequency and the bias, I have no idea what is the bias for. Now the schematic diagram, how did I connect that? This is my Creedic generator. So this is RF, not used. This is bias, not used. This is the output of the internal oscillator from that device. This is the oscilloscope, port one and port two. This is the generator. Now you see two ports in here. 
basically it's a one port but I can instead of using the couplers I can simply activate both of these inputs as one this is my spectrum analyzer the model number is given here the model number is given here and the model number is given here okay now so the output of that internal oscillator is connected to the channel 1 of the oscilloscope this PL259 is an input that's supposed to come from the coil of nuclear magnetic uh, resonance device now so we see that from the generator the signal goes to the input it looks like in here in this device we have a comparator that is comparing two signals the internal oscillation and the one that is coming from here but look what's going on in here from the same port we're going through the uh, I have used the attenuator now where's that attenuator that attenuator is hanging in here this is the attenuator and what I use is I went to I thought I go to 20 dBs but it looks like I went to 40 dBs no that's 20 dBs that's only one, one. hold on a moment it's 50 dBs and that's 3 dBs so that there was an error in my, my, my writing so I gave a lot of attenuation I gotta think how much attenuation do I have okay so here's my attenuator so the signal goes to the PL259 the same signal goes to the channel number 2 of the oscilloscope the same uh, signal goes through the attenuator to the spectrum analyzer and I'm going to give you the output this is uh, the spectrum analyzer and this is the, the input from the attenuator so now what is happening is kind of kickback because this, this, attenu uh, this generator is giving 1.5 and change volt that is delivered to PL259 from that one I'm getting approximately the same voltage I see these two signals the upper trace is the trace from the first channel that means from the oscillator and this lower one is the one that is coming from this generator now when I match the frequency or the difference between these frequencies just a little little tiny bit what is happening is through that PL connector I'm getting kickback and that kickback is shown on the oscilloscope affecting both of them also uh, I'm able to see that kickback on as, a, as an impulse in here so this one is the analog display of the signal of the given frequency now previously I stated that I'm getting uh, uh, the frequency in here was 26 56 Hertz but look the dot is not all the way to the top so I have to go just a moment uh, how do I do it marker okay now I'm going all the way to the top so it looks like okay I'm, I'm 60 Hertz so that was the error that I have had when I was when I was previously saying that there's a 59 Hertz okay so coming back there's a certain little difference which is the, the, the concept of nuclear magnetic resonance it's very tiny difference between these two frequencies the frequency from the oscillator and the frequency from the generator I'm getting kickback that kickback is in here and kickback is over there but look at what, what else is happening now I'm changing the, the wave to the square see we have a square right now look what's happening here this frequency is supposed to be the sine wave this is the channel number one from the oscillator this is channel number two that's from the generator that one now what is happening in here is that all of a sudden my sine frequency from the oscillator has changed let me see if I would be able to have the same effect okay I see the upper one is oh got it look at that look at that and look at that okay let me go like that I am changing only that much one more time looking here okay we got an impulse okay we got an impulse I'm moving that much a little fraction of the Hertz
that's what you're watching right now is the slow motion showing how the signals are affected both of them now notice that the amplitude of both of the signals is right now larger because they increase uh, the, the vertical uh, per division but the speed is 0.1 of the speed that was normally one and a half I have to move a little bit more of that to get a little bit more visible impulse with that higher amplitude. So it looks like amplitude is important. Now how much voltage am I delivering from the generator I'm delivering from the generator I'm delivering 1.530 volt and this is plus and minus with the offset. Okay. 